blend this through. I'm going to do some low lighting because I feel like the ends are a little bit dull. And I, I want to cut through some of the solidness of this area. I'm actually going to place a seven level copper in a demi color. Actually, no, we did permanent color. It's actually the aloxy chroma. And I'm going to place some of the low lights through there. And then I'm going to backlight it immediately with lightener and 20 volume developer. So I'm, I'm not going to do a ton of foils. I want you guys to see my pattern and my technique. I'm going to actually clip the top. Oh yeah, go ahead, Flo. We're going to drape her. I'm going to actually clip the top from end of each eyebrow through to the crown in a U shape. I'm actually going to clip that away. And we're going to leave that out. So it's, I, and this is, by the way, if you look at your handout, some of the information is listed on there, and you're welcome to write. Is that comfortable, Alicia? Oh, yeah. I just pulled out straight. By the way, this is all about the positive connection and feeling I was telling you about. Because thank you so much for taking your time on a Sunday to drive down here. Oh, way fun. <laughs> so this section you will actually leave out. You will actually clip it away. Very good question. You know, it's kind of like uh, when you're doing color formulation, it's kind of like going on vacation. So it's always about, what do you have, what do you have to plan for when you go on vacation? When you're scheduling the flight? Anyone? Your What? Your itinerary. Your itinerary. Where does that get determined from? You have to know where you're going and and where you're coming from. So, you know, if I'm gonna take a flight, what's that? And what problems you might have getting there. So what might you need to pack into the color formula? So we already said, I gave you a lovely formula, but it could have come from a five, it could have come from a four. When you're planning the trip to Honolulu, are you gonna fly from out of LAX or are you gonna fly out of Burbank, which gives you two sets of directions completely. The same thing is true with determining your natural level. You really have to know where you're coming from so that you'll know what to pack in your color formula. And Alicia is approximately 25% gray. This is so much fun when you get to announce that. <laughs> with, but you can never tell. But you can never <laughs> tell. Right. And also a natural level six, a kind of an ashy six. Typical, by the way, that's like half of American women are a natural level, ashy level six mixed in with a little bit of gray. Which is why, what do you think the number one color is that hair color companies sell? 6N. 6N. What's number two? 5 n and the seven. 7. Yeah, 4 through, I'm not sure about 4. It might be a close second, but 5, 6, and 7 right in there. 6N is like, is everything. So I did want to include some natural. That's why I did a third of the formula in natural. And all that did was, a, was to compensate for the 25% gray. And then the gold and the red that I placed in the formula that's really what gave me the tone. So I, my desired level was, her natural level was six, desired level was a six, desired tone was a golden reddish brown. And then what you said, what did you say about when you travel you have to? Right, so you have to know what how much gas you're gonna need so if you're gonna drive. So that, that developer is your gas. And so I used 20 volume because we were level on level. If, you, if I were to use a 15 volume, which is equal parts of 10 and 20, it would have gone a little bit deeper and cooler. But I decided to, we wanted to still see some warmth, so I swapped the 20 volume. And then if, you, if you're going skiing, you have to check out how much snow is on the mountain, and that's your gray hair. <laughs> so that's why I packed in some of that natural, okay? Six N. Equal parts six N, six gold, and six red. Actually, you know what, would you stand up for me for a minute? I'm sorry, I wish okay. I could have a seat this way. Okay. I won't just you guys. I'm going to start applying on this side for this area, and then we'll switch to the other side, OK? So you clipped up the U-shaped eyebrow to eyebrow. And now what I'm going to do is you can almost see where the hair wants to kind of part. That's another thing, is coloring the hair according to the way the hair grows. What a concept. Just like with hair cutting, and also standing in front of your section. And all the same things apply with coloring, especially with foil placement or even with balayage. So I'm going to see where she naturally kind of parts. And I'm not going to foil right on the top here, 
Why is that? Because I don't want to see that foil right at the crown of her head. I want to leave some hair on top. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to put the foil in at a diagonal or working with the round of the head. I'm going to go with the guide. My guideline is the hairline, is the temple. So I'm starting here at a diagonal. I'm going to go in and do a low light to blend through that base. I can think of this way. Thanks, Blake. And we'll do, this is a seven level copper in Aloxy. And I want to make sure that I cover a lot of that previously existing highlighted areas. And then I'm not going to skip a foil. I'm going to go immediately to the next one. And this is a sombre, so do I want a foil, do I want the lightener to start all the way at the scalp? No, not necessarily. I'd say two to three inches away from the scalp, depending on your desired look, is a good idea. So I'm gonna go in at a diagonal. I, I want it to be kind of jaggedy, so that it's not super solid on the line. And then to get through the ends, because I do kind of want the ends to pop a little bit. You can either use a separate foil, if you like, to put on top so that this doesn't blend to the top, or you can take this one and just do that. I just kind of want to, this is a sombre, it's softened down, so I just kind of want to like tickle the ends, how do you like that, with a little red and a little lightener, so that it's not so solid red and light. And I'm going to skip about half an inch, working in the same Guide, and remember, my guide, eventually my guideline, I'm going to be standing right here. And so I'm taking about, about an eighth of an inch parting, maybe a little bit more than an eighth. And I'm going to apply the low lights. Is this a or yeah, you know, that's a good question. Um, there's a lot of choices we can make with reds. And if you're concerned about the condition or the quality or the integrity of the client's hair, you might consider using a demi-color. Alicia's hair has proven over the years pretty healthy. So I feel pretty confident using permanent hair color. Also, it's a porosity thing. And I find that sometimes with the hair that is a little porous, you may actually need a permanent color. So I actually chose a permanent hair color with 10 volume developer on the ends of her hair. I, I was worried that maybe if I used the demi, that the hair might spit it out pretty quickly. Um, so you're repeating the seven copper lighter, lightener back to back, separated by half inch? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any other questions about? What volume did you use for the lightener? What volume did I use for the lightener? You know, that's a really important question because, you know, every time we are choosing a lightener when we're highlighting or doing balayage or whatever, there are several things at play that we have to really be honest with ourselves about and consider. One of them is you really need to be honest with yourself about how fast you are, this, your speed of foiling. How fast is your speed? Now, if you're really slow, which is fine, you know, people work at different paces, then I would probably choose a lower level of developer so that you'll have a, you'll give yourself a little more time now what can we do we can always then remix a fresh formula as we get halfway through and go with a slightly lighter developer so one of the things you have to remember is and take into consideration is how fast are you and you need to be honest with yourself the other thing is what's the desired result how light do i want to be and and again this is all going back to taking a vacation What's the natural level to the desired level? How much lift do I want? I want some lift with the lightener, but I don't want it to become white. We were, we're working with the red and there's warmth. So I chose the standard 20 volume mixed with the developer. Now the other thing to remember is with lightener, thicker is quicker with powder lighteners. So I always follow the manufacturer's direction. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions, but in general, when you're dealing with powder lightener, if you mix it thicker, it'll work faster. So 